Hey guys, Kyle Kelly here. On our next episode, we are at the beautiful Baiting Hollow Golf Club here in the bucolic North Fork of Long Island. This is a Robert Trent Jones design, 125 acre course. One of my favorite, spectacular 25,000 square foot clubhouse. Guys, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite spots on Long Island. I've done plenty of private parties here, but as you can see, it is a private club and I'm not a member. So I'm thinking maybe I can grease a couple palms and get in and play around. So come join me on this covert mission of real estate agents and golf carts drinking Bloody Marys. I'm Kyle Kelly, the associate broker for the island-wide team at Realty Connect USA. I've spent the last 11 years perfecting my real estate game, but unfortunately, my golf game has really gone to shit. This is my attempt to incorporate more golf into my work life. So hang on while we spoil a good walk while under the influence of real estate talking about cocktails and talking about anything else that comes up with some of my closest friends in the real estate industry and hopefully some decent golfers. This is Real Estate Agents and Golf Carts Drinking Bloody Marys. Kyle Kelly? Is that you? Hey, oh what's my going on? gosh. <laughs> Who let you in here? Uh, nobody. <laughs> Trying to sneak on. No, I'm a member here. Why don't you you want to play a quick round? Really? Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'll sneak you out. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> You live out here on the North Fork, or you know, grew I, up out I here? I grew up out here. I still, you know, enjoy the weekends. I said, but I do live in Huntington now, right in the gotcha. village. But I said, there's always a part of me that I'm like, I'm stuck. I love it. Oh, I love the no, North absolutely. Fork. Absolutely, <laughs> it's, it's my favorite part of Long Island. I was at a Shelter Island yesterday. Oh, it's, yeah, it's I, I spend, I'd say at least two weeks every summer. Spread across the summer, yeah. out of Shelter, Island. Shelter Island, yeah, across the beach. Oh my gosh, so originally I grew up in Amagansett, okay. and when we first moved to the North Fork, we took those ferries every day for like the last month. I love it, month. yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm on the ferry last night, and my license plate says Realtor, oh, right? Oh gosh. And uh, I have that Realtor logo yeah. on there. And the, the, guy on the, no, the guy on the ferry goes, hey, you're a Realtor over here? And I'm like, yeah, I get to talk to him. He started a cleanup business, you know, <gasps> a property yeah, yeah, cleanup yeah. business. He's like, can I give a you my car? Yeah, I was like, oh, perfect. I, I honestly, I just, I love the North Fork. I love everything that has to I offer. Think, yeah, it's just a, a nice seasonally, way of life. right? You've got your, your, the fall festivals out here, oh, gosh, which is incredible. Know. <laughs> you know, the vineyards, which you know a lot the about, vineyards, we'll touch yeah, on some of yeah. that stuff. You know, the golf. I know. <laughs> Can't and beat the, the golf. golf. I said the clubs out here. It's yeah. not, you know, there's no ego. It's, it's not that yeah. pretentious. You know, I think it really reminds me a lot of what the South Fork was. I mean, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I'd say longer than that. Right? You know, it's, it's been but a I long think, time yeah. of partying out on the South Fork. But, <laughs> exactly. You know, no, this is this this club, the Baiting Hollow Club, to me is really, it's not too far on the North Fork. You know, it's easy to get to off the highway, which is great for me if I'm in Huntington, but it's it's the beginning of the North Fork. Yeah. So you get to sort of enjoy a little yeah. bit of all of Start it. Start the wine trail, right? Yeah. I know, exactly. But I was thinking we should, you want to whack a couple balls? Yeah. Yeah, I think we, we I think we can go put them out there a little bit. See how you swing. Yeah. All right. See if my back. See if we can get up. it to Jamesport. Let's do it. All right, I got. It. <laughs> so I typically go warm up with my driver, my seven, and my sand wedge or fifty-six degree. Hmm. That's my typical warm up. If I could hit those three good, I'm good all day. Really? They're all over the place. That's where I'm. Trouble. Good. I usually just do the driver. Let's go hit a few. <laughs> wow. I never really warm up beforehand. Could you imagine what would happen if I actually like swung a few before I got on the car? Now my biggest problem, right, this is like ADD in a nutshell. 
I just look up and see where it goes before it even goes. So I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh. and it head, doesn't leave. I know. Head down. Head down. See where that ball I have to was. Force myself. That's my right, that's say. a good one. One, two, three. Ooh, not pretty. So now your family are family of builders, right? Your third generation builder. Crazily enough, third generation builder. And you build out here on the North Fork, yeah, predominantly. We're on, we're on the North Fork. Um, we started originally with my grandfather in Huntington, okay. sort of where the connection was. He was really a developer before that was a thing. Gotcha. And then he, uh, my grandma and my grandpa came out to Amagansett and just started finding really parcels that are, it's all about the location, right? So then when they came to the North Fork, uh, my mom and dad specifically found a piece of land, which your family's familiar with, down by like Paradise Point, yeah. that was breathtaking and sort of off the beaten path. I remember we'd get lost every time we'd try to find it. <laughs> uh, but now we do pretty much just that, where we're mostly spec builders, where we'll really find the land. Gotcha. Uh, the newest things that we've kind of been working on are um, modern homesteads. So not really necessarily the farmhouse itself, we'll do the farmhouse and then the complete site. So what we have now is three acres. It's really kind of a cool piece. Nice. But yeah, a little bit, of, that's an aquabog, so not too far. But yeah, I think it's really finding these special spots on the North Fork that people haven't found yet. Yes. And uh, putting a, a little bit of a touch on it. Yeah, I, I was reading an article, God, it had to be almost 10 years ago now because I had the property over in Paradise Shores. Yeah. And uh, they were saying the North Fork is the next Hamptons. The North oh. Fork is the next thing I know, to pop. Don't tell too many people. I know, it's like, we right? don't, you know, as much as we love the North Fork, we don't want it to blow up right, like that. Right. And I think it's still, it, it'll still have the charm. And I think with COVID too, it was interesting to see, you know, people didn't care if they were on the North Fork or the South Fork. They just really wanted that sense of place, that little bit of a backyard. So yes. North Fork delivers, that's for sure. No, absolutely. And you got some of the nicest waters over here, right? Long Island Sound, Peconic Bay. No, it's definitely, it's a nice spot. And I think it is nice when I, when I come out and I can show people the charm of it. What are your favorite spots out here? Oh, what do you show them? Well, you know, I'm always, I'm a vineyard girl. Okay. And I think when we sort of made that connection, I actually worked for the Wolfer family on the South Fork for quite a few years, right out of college. And um, my cousin owns Roanoke Vineyards, really pretty much right up the road and then on Love Lane. So I said, I always say first stop should really be come out here, you know, as long as you have a designated driver, right? right. Try a winery or two. Try one of the smaller wineries that yes. really are kind of off the beaten path. Uh, and then for sure, I said some of these little farm stands, because I have a little one, I know we both have kids, but as silly as it sounds and you're like, oh, I don't want to go, when you leave, your kid is happy, you're happy, it sort of kind of gives you something to do, so the farm stands really are fun. Yeah. I've never done new construction. I've never even sold a new construction. Oh, good. Yeah, so I, I love to- <laughs> So I'll to, take your referrals, no problem. Yes, <laughs> I love to learn a lot more about it, but- No, I think we just do it together. Well, to me, it's like learning commercial, right? It is. Like, it's I'm its not own language. Take it's away like learning from free. what I am really good at right. to go try to learn something new, right. especially at the point that I'm out of my career. Right. I'd rather find the expert in it, yeah. refer it, and over, have work fun it with it too. Because I think even when I set someone a new agent and I'll walk through with them, and you speak the language of a builder, it's yeah. completely different. It's really different. It is. Oh, that was Pretty good warm up. It was good, right? I yeah, said we really think, had to sort of. I think my back's already done. I know. <laughs> Hitting that driver 200 times before you actually get out there. No, I know. <laughs> I said it definitely is a way to let off steam, right? Yeah. But I do. I like coming early, right? Kind of before everyone else. Before is everyone here. else gets here, before real estate starts. I know, right? Well, I so know. we can get a, a couple rounds in. And we get then... At least a round in before 10 a.m. is the way to go. Totally. Yeah. yeah. All right. Want to go uh, putt a few? I think it's time. Warm to up putt. on the putting green. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I know uh, new construction's your thing, right? But you also sell pre-existing homes yeah, too. Right? Yeah, definitely. So it's not I just new construction. Not just, I said, wouldn't that be the dream? No. Right. I said, I definitely love um, really even helping friends, family, getting properties listed that, you know, older homes, you know, now I actually have an older farmhouse, which is really cool to see and walk through it. Um, and do you have it staged or? Yeah, it was really remarkable. I have to give credit to the homeowner. She did such a beautiful job. And I think that's kind of the beauty of now the internet, right? Like everyone can go in and they can see, they can see Pinterest and what, right. what else is on Zillow and other pictures. Well, so staging makes such a huge difference. I was gonna say, I notice a lot on your social, you talk about staging design. 
right? So is that your background? Is it's it not, you know, it's it's actually funny because we're I, I tease Principe Builders is definitely a full service, full service. Um, but even me as as an as an agent, um, my mother is an interior designer, licensed interior designer, my sister's an architect. So I said they're really the creatives in the family. Gotcha. Uh, so I can I can execute you just know and how I can to promote it. I can promote it. <laughs> I can put the, you know, put put it together, and I think when you have someone walk through really your whole life and say, okay, move this, even in my own house, you know, it makes it makes a big difference. So, uh, how important do you feel it is to stage a home, especially a new construction home where there's nothing in it, right? Like, it do buyers have that vision yeah. themselves, yeah. or do you got to give them that vision? You know, I just went to a home yesterday, and it was an old, it was an older home, Spanish Revival, but they had moved out early, and it was vacant so whether it's new construction completely vacant or an older home it doesn't matter when people can't see is that gonna fit a twin bed or a king-size bed but I think you have the, the what do we always say right the first two weeks are the most eyes right that golden your, time you have to get your best foot forward and I really think that I would rather put no pictures and just say photography coming soon absolutely than launching with bad photography yep. uh, because that's your first your first way to get the client yeah. on the door. No, actually, when I take a listing, it's it's typically a coming soon listing yeah. with a just a coming soon, maybe a picture of the front with coming soon yeah. over the top. Um, but yeah, we're not it doing creates, anything until that professional yeah. photography's yeah. in. Yeah. Even if we're doing digital staging or, or some Definitely. photoshopping that we need that's needed, we're waiting until yeah. all that comes in it, before we market the property. It's it's so smart, and I think what I've been pivoting now, even because I have a few land listings, it's the same premise with with building, is that people can't see the vision. Right. So I actually teamed up with um, a company, which I'll give you some more info on them, but they're called Modwell. And what they can do is they can actually work between myself and a builder and the brokerage and put a 3D rendering on nice. a piece of property. So for me, they, we kind of it's conceptual, right? We have to disclose that. Absolutely. But yep. it's something that you can say, wow, I can, I can fit this style yep. of a home, or I really love modern. I don't necessarily want the traditional that's really been out here. So but whether it's an older home or new or land, staging and rendering is yeah. worth it. You know, you know it's something I, I, I always noticed on like uh, like the HGTV shows, right? Is, <laughs> is that these buyers, you know, previously to getting my license, I was like, these buyers, they can't see past pink color, or they don't know the difference between a, a hardwood and a laminate floor, right? And I'm like, really, uh, is it really like that? And then you get your real estate license, you work with some buyers, and sometimes really you get that, uh, I don't like that pink room. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, a uh, $45 furniture. gallon of paint and, yeah. and an hour of your time no, will change I had, that. I had, <laughs> yeah. I had a girlfriend just this past weekend say to me, I went into this home, I went to the open house, and I couldn't see past her style, her stuff. The first thing I tell sellers is get a pod, get a storage unit, get a Tupperware in your basement, yeah. everything, make it look like a hotel, yes. right? Because they have to say, I'm gonna come in and put my stuff in here, and it's gonna be mine. But that's literally just what someone, and she's, you know, a savvy buyer. I see, one of our, can't look past one it. of our key job responsibilities is to package it for profit, right? right? It's it's a product for sale once yeah. it goes on the market. Yeah. It's no longer the home that you raised your family <laughs> right. in, right? But and that's why you hire, well, well, that's why you hire an agent to kind of be that middleman and get rid of the emotion behind yeah. it. Say, this is a product for sale, let's package it for, for profit. And, and they're asking, you know, it. that's why I think that I go, even as if it's a friend or, or or a client, I go and I sit like a friend and I sit like a builder. I, I sit like someone who I want to get you highest and best. Absolutely. At yeah. the end of the day, here's how we're going to yeah. do it. So we'll go, we'll go put a few. Yeah, definitely. Right. I think you were, you may have won the driver, but I might win the putting. Oh yeah? Well, they yeah. say driving for show and putting's for dough. So <laughs> right, that's where all the money lies, right? <laughs> in that like putter, that. so. I don't know about you, I've, I've been to four colleges, I think I have 32 credits to prove it, maybe 12 of them were gym. 32? It's not bad! <laughs> so, yeah, that's... I, I wasn't really a, a classroom type <laughs> learner, and I said, let me surround myself with, with the experts and those who know and learn from them. But did you go to school? Or? I did, I was, uh, I think the school for me was probably a social thing, right? I said I wanted to go where my friends Wait, where'd were. Would you go Oneonta? I, yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? University of Florida, no, just kidding. Um, no, I went to Merrimack College in North Andover for my undergrad, and then I just uh, finished up my MBA at St. Joe's, right here in Patchogue. Okay. So yeah, one of those things too, I was like, do real estate agents, <laughs> do they need an MBA? Do you need an MBA, to, right, yeah. to sell houses? What do you think? No, I, I think, honestly, whether you're 
32 credits, whether you have an MBA or a doctorate, I think it's all about being with the clients that you feel comfortable with. And I think, you know, even when you and I started connecting, it doesn't matter, right? This levels the playing field, but I think when I have the the savvy buyer or, you know, people when they're coming out from Manhattan, I feel a little bit more confident that I can kind of walk the walk and talk the talk. Um, and and your regardless, your your resume, yep. it's all about, right? You can look on your website and see how many. <laughs> listen, listen, I do agree, knowledge is power, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I immerse myself in real estate knowledge. Yeah. As much continuing education exactly. as I can. I attend as many conferences as I can. I learn as much as I can about real estate. Super confident in talking about real estate and in my performance in real estate. You know, it's just kind of speak for itself. But That's I so learned true. something from a contractor that I worked for many years ago. And he, he said to me, he said, Kyle, it doesn't take brains to make money, it takes guts, yeah. right? And that's yeah. really what it comes down to, to be successful, I think, it takes guts, grit, and determination. I always, someone told me, I said, be comfortable in the uncomfortable. Yes. And that period, end of story, is what real estate is. Yes. It's uncomfortable, it's sales, right? It's getting out there, it's making calls, it's going to see people maybe you haven't talked to since your wedding. But I think it's, knowledge is power, but real estate is its own language. You know, it's, it's, we were teasing, it's like speaking Greek, but all that continuing ed and all this stuff, even with what New York State tells you to do, is one of the highest amount of hours nope. in the country. Nope. You know, and then you do stuff on top of that. Like I took my buyer's uh, agent certification, which was another 22 and a half, and I felt so confident after taking Absolutely, that. absolutely. You know? you know, I refer to it as alphabet soup, all those designations after, after oh, your yeah. name, right? But really, the, the general public doesn't know what it is, but yeah. it's how you use it to help the public right. is what it comes and down to. And working with other knowledge. agents yep. makes a big difference. Absolutely. But, all right, where do you think we should, uh, where should we start over here? I, I say we warm up with a short one. <laughs> yeah. Person, <all> right. Right. <laughs> good call, Let's good go call. Not that. Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. She's, take, she's taking Woo! it today. That's for sure. There you go. I don't give up until I get it in. All right? I'm determined. Yeah. It's all about determination. That's true. And honestly, determination in real estate, right? It's, it's that's what it's all about. That, that's the key, right? So, I know. I'm it's determined like, to sink this butt. You know, you'll do it. <laughs> but really, though, I think that's what sets agents apart, right? There are some that are just, I don't know. I can't get leads. I don't know. I can't. How do you find listings? How do you how do you work with buyers? How do you get a deal done? Uh, what if it's an FHA buyer? They're all complaining they can't get stuff done, right? Yeah. And it's those that are determined, determined to get it done. And also, too, I think in any in any industry, I think I always would say. You know, I was a manager for a little while, and I would say, I want solutions, not problems. Don't come to me with your problem, right? I think we need a bumper sticker. Be determined figure it out, get it done, and come to me and say, look what I just figured out. I had this problem. And I think it's the thing that no client is perfect. No seller is perfect. There are hiccups and problems, and you need attorneys, and you need title companies, and there are so many moving parts. So when you're determined and to see that finish line, right, it's the only time you get the check anyway. I don't say congratulations until we're at the closing table. And I say I don't aside. say congratulations until my car is pulling <laughs> yeah, out of the driveway. Right, exactly. Tail light warranty right? on this one. <laughs> yeah. I know. Exactly. Right. So, no, but you, you said something there that I say anytime somebody calls me and says, uh, there's a problem, we have a problem, I say, don't call me with problems, call me with solutions, right? But when my team calls me and says, hey, Kyle, there's a problem here, I say, well, I probably have a solution. Let's mm -hmm. work through it. Right? And that's why they that's need you. That's what it comes down yeah. to, is just finding that solution. No, definitely. No, you're determined. Oh, you got it. Determination's the key. Determination. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that anymore. <laughs> Kyle, I think this is this is fun, but before we really get going, I heard something about Bloody Marys. I think that's in the title of the show, right? <laughs> better be, there better be one in our future. You ready to go get one? Okay, let's head into the let's make it happen.
go nice. Alright. Nice job, Dana. Delicious. Oh, that's got some heat to it. Oh my god, these are so good. Should we should we take them outside? Yeah, you want to sit up there? Yeah. yeah perfect. Beautiful day. Thanks, girls. Thank you so much. Ready? This is gorgeous. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. Not bad. I know. I got a head start already. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. We only work, walked from there to here. No, not to. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Oh, it's no, just... Thanks for sneaking me in and introducing yeah, me to yeah. everybody here. Now I got to buy a membership. Now you I have guess. to buy a membership. <laughs> right. I was going to say. <laughs> and uh, I know they're also building some townhomes in the back, too. So I'm sure oh, that we can really? just live right there. Or maybe we'll sell them, right? There you go. That sounds like a plan Easy. to me. But no, I definitely think this is just one of those clubs that you can come, you have fun. Like you said, you've been to dinners and outings and they're doing a lot more events now. Yeah. So, right? Cheers All right, that. Kyle, thank you for coming out. Thanks I appreciate for it. sneaking me on. I know. There we go. Okay. See you at the closing table. Absolutely. Huh? Yes. Can't wait. We'll put a couple together. I know. You should. Cheers. Yeah, I'm half done. Look. <laughs> This has been a Sky Limitless Media Production.